want to go live to a press conference right now where veterans have just emerged from a very short and it sounds like uh, an ultra slight verbal altercation with Minister Julian Fantino. Let's listen into what the veterans have to say about this meeting. Um, I would like to call for Mr. Fantino's resignation. His resignation or fired. Um, what he'd done today, what he'd done to us today is, is unbelievable. Unbelievable, unacceptable, and shameful. The way we were treated is just not not kosher. I would like to say that Mr. Fantino should uh, thank you very much. That was Ron Clark. I'm Roy Lamar and I'm a veteran of the Second World War. And go to a meeting that where the individual didn't show and ended up brought three veterans, politicians, to argue against the rest of us. That's a damn disgrace. Three veterans that, and they couldn't give us the honest answers that we asked for. I was really ashamed to go to a meeting like that. And then this is not the first time he's missed meetings. There's a few things you should be told. Top manners, number one. Number two, to respect the veterans. And number three, it's time that you better wake up and give us a break on this thing. Thank you. My name is Martin Holler. I'm from uh, Manitoba and Brandon area. Here's another veteran with the meeting with uh, Julian Fantino. Let's listen in. In the meeting, when the uh, three other veterans, as was stated before, I left the meeting because I wasn't getting the answers that I wanted for Manitoba. Because if from the north, from Thompson all the way to the U.S. border, there is no representation whatsoever. I left the meeting because I was mad. Then all of a sudden, the minister comes in and starts talking, and the same issues, the same answers, the same everything came out. And one of our individuals got quite upset again at him. I was getting upset, and matter of fact, I was crying in there. Because I kept... You're looking at My a name press Michelle conference. Bradley. I'm a national vice president for Atlantic Region. That the Union of Veterans, Affairs veterans have just held after a meeting that didn't occur with Minister Fantino. Yeah. Let's listen in. Completely frustrated, insulted, and angered by what I heard in that office uh, in the back room there today by Minister Fantino. These veterans behind me and to the veterans across the country, it's appalling. I work frontline, I provide the direct services to these men and women who give their lives for us and he's telling them their needs can be met by one Service Canada agent. That Service Canada agent will direct them to a computer. It's not adequate, it's not appropriate and it's not what they deserve. Last statement from Columbia and our, my questions never got answered either. One was a year ago, one is coming 3,600 files that are going to Vancouver and people Penticton's losing 10 people lost four Kamloops is using losing five people there's 25 highly trained people that are missing that they're going to have a trained service Canada worker in every location I'm disappointed Bonjour, je vais m'adresser en français. Mon nom est Yvan Tauvet, président national du syndicat des employés des anciens combattants. Parce que la journée d'aujourd'hui... There's now, uh, this is obviously the French portion of this conference. Let me tell you what's happened here. You're looking live at a press conference. Vets who had come to Parliament Hill today to talk about the closure of eight offices that will happen across the country this week had a meeting set up with the Veterans Minister Julian Fantino. According to the head of PSAC Union, who was there, uh, Chris Allward, he said, and I'm quoting him, the vets told the minister was called away and unable to meet with them, he said. He said the minister then showed up, said hello, according to him, got rude with one of the veterans, and it was unacceptable. The
and a series of veterans have now come out, uh, Ron Clark, Roy Lamar, who have uh, won, Roy Clark calling for the resignation of Julian Fantino because of what happened here. Uh, one said he burst into tears crying, he was so upset by the situation, and a series of vets have been clearly very unhappy with this situation. Now, from Julian Fantino's side, obviously we have immediately contacted the Office of Veterans Affairs, his office, and we're trying to get his statement on what happened. But for now, we do know a very short encounter between... I was Let's listen in again. Hang on. Today here. Uh, do I have a meeting set up with the minister and then not turn up? I, in my own heart, I feel that he had no intention of turning up. He had his three colleagues come in and work, do all his dirty work for him. You could not get any answers from him. One of my biggest problems is Service Canada. They keep coming back to 600 offices in Canada, places for us to go. They will not train 600 people to go into those positions to look after our veterans. They're cutting back on money, so they're going to tell me they're going to train 600 people. They're laying off workers, but they're going to train 600 other people. It's a bunch of bullshit is all we get from this politician, and he should not be in office, and I'd like to see him resign. Thank you. Uh, good evening. My name is Bruce Moncour. And uh, what happened today, uh, I just want to see cooler heads prevail. I want to see everyone to be able to, to try to get things, uh, uh, try to sit down and try to talk things out as much as possible. I understand these offices are going to close. But if you ask me if I'm surprised by these actions, if you ask me if, if any of this catches me off guard, the answer is no. I, uh, I, in the military... Uh, and with Veterans Affairs, it's this is the same song and dance we've been getting since I've been uh, needing the services seven years ago. And it's, I just wish that uh, every veteran that's out there, I'm, I'm calling upon you to, to don't let yourself be denied. Make a claim and uh, flood these offices with claims. If you are one of the 600,000 veterans that is not uh, seeking any support, I ask that you do show this country that you you're, you do need help and you do need services thank you again i ask a question about the veterans and and talking about wars and i try to make an agreement which was if he could tell me right now that you won't need veterans if you don't have any wars. So that gives me a great feeling that saying, all right, we are not going to have any wars. That's another big lie you can throw at me. And they tell us they're going to be veterans, going to be using the Veterans Affairs down the road. If there's no more wars, I don't believe it. I have one more thing to add. Uh, Mr. Harper and his conservatives best be prepared for the next election because as I said at the start of this I will I will cross Canada and get veterans and soldiers and and our uh, Canadians to vote against the conservatives I don't care who they vote for they can vote for for any independent they wish. I couldn't care less. But there are two parties that said they would open our offices, so they might want to think about voting for them, but not the Conservatives. Please, uh, don't. If they don't open these offices, don't vote Conservative. 